from Joe Walsh Stadium on the campus of North Andover High School. My name is Mike Bono. I'm alongside my partner, Sean Daly. It's a brisk Tuesday evening here in North Andover for today's Merrimack Valley Conference matchup between the between the 6-5-3 North Andover Lady Knights and the 9-2-1 Central Catholic Lady Raiders. Tonight is a special night. It's senior night, and we'll be starting off with senior night festivities. We'll pay special tribute to the North Andover seniors and their families for all their hard work and dedication over the last four years. I'm going to kick it over to our PA announcer, Bill Jensen, who's going to get us started. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to Walsh Stadium at North Andover High School for tonight's MVC matchup between the Raiders of Central Catholic and your Scarlet Knights. Tonight is a special night in North Andover for the athletic community, and we're here to celebrate nine seniors who have represented the girls' soccer program this year at North Andover High School. However, before we introduce them, we would like to recognize the seniors from Central Catholic. Goalkeeper, Madeline Lee. Goalkeeper, Lauren Sanchez. Midfielder, Kellyanne Walsh. Forward, Raina Mershida. Defender, Mary Olson. Forward, Isabel Hanna. Midfielder, Marcy Daigle. Midfielder, Lauren Deshkin. Defender, Maeve Dial. Defender, Anna Nera. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have one last applause for the seniors at Central Catholic High School. Over the last four years, these North Andover seniors have not only worked to better themselves on the field, but have also given back to the youth soccer program. All of them have coached in a GK program, including this fall on Saturday mornings after practice. These nine young women also have challenged themselves academically over the last four years and this year, all nine of them have taken at least one AP course in high school. And now to introduce the seniors and their parents. Number six, Kendall Rowan and her parents, Julie and Michael. Kenny has made an unbelievable return to the field this year after suffering two knee injuries. Kendall, we are beyond proud of your grit and determination to get back out in the field and to be a shutdown defender. We wish you luck in all your future endeavors. Number six, Kendall Rowland. Number seven, Olivia Zorecki and her parents, Katie and Vince. Olivia has been a presence on our defensive line for the past three seasons. She is always ready to take on a challenge and do what the team needs of her. Olivia has had the opportunity to play at a high level, both in high school and in club. Next year, she will be continuing her soccer career at the University of New Hampshire. We look forward to seeing you achieve great things in the future. Number seven, Olivia Zarecki. Number ten, Erica Orojek. And her parents, Bessie and Stan. 
Erica has been a four-year varsity member. Erica has played many positions for us over the years and is as versatile a player as anyone on the team. Erica always gives her best and continues to show great passion for the game. Her intensity at practice, she is an exceptional player and role model for the younger players. Erica, we can't wait to see what you do next year and wish you luck in the future. Number 10, Erica Roswell. Number 18, Isabel Forrest and her parents, Jean and Jason. Bella, you have worked so hard the last two years and it shows on the field. You come every day with a positive attitude and ready to work hard and have set a great example for your teammates. We look forward to seeing you all accomplish in your next chapter. Number 18, Isabel Ford. Number 25, Janie Papel and her parents, Natalie and Mike. Janie, you have been part of our, a big part of our program for the last four years, and the coaches and I have been so impressed with your dedication. Although this season you were not on the field, you have been a huge asset to the coaching staff and very encouraging to your teammates. Janie, we wish you the best during both basketball and lacrosse seasons and can't wait to follow your lacrosse career at the University of Massachusetts. Yeah. Number 25, Janie Propel. Number 28, Cecilia Ginsberg, and her parents, Melissa and Matt. Cece, you have come to the field every day to work hard and get better. We have seen huge improvements in your game this season and the pressure you put on the opposing defense is amazing. Your athleticism is one of a kind, and we are lucky to have you on our side during games. We can't wait to see what impressive accomplishments you have during the next two track seasons. Best of luck. Number 28, Cecilia Grimsberg. And now this year's captains. Number two, Captain Charlotte Martell and her parents, Lisa and Matt. Charlotte has returned to the Knights this season with some extra hardware, but this has not kept her down. Our coaches and teammates could not wait for your return to the field, and you have not disappointed. We have been amazed by your work ethic and positivity during the offseason to come back and lead us this season. We can't wait to see what you do next year on both track and soccer at McAllister University. Number two, Charlotte Mattel. Number 22, Captain Maria Benvenuto. And her parents, Karen and John. Maria, you have shown what it means to be a great leader and communicator on and off the field. You have been exceptional this season on defense, and we appreciate your willingness to do whatever we ask. Day in and day out, you have a positive and supportive attitude, which has led to a great team environment. We wish you luck in all your future endeavors and can't wait to see the great things you accomplish. Number 22, Maria Benvenuto. And finally, number 26, Captain Quinn Phillips. And her parents, Nancy and Dave. Quinn, you have been an outstanding player and captain this year. Your passion for soccer is evident every day, both on and off the field. At practice, you challenge yourself and teammates to work hard and get better. This has been a pleasure, you have been a pleasure to coach over the years, and we can't wait to see what the future holds. Number 26, Quinn Phillips.
congratulations to our class of 2024. One more round of applause for the Scarlet Knight Seniors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And uh, well, Sean, that was uh, that was a surprise for me. Yep. My daughter Mia singing the national anthem prior to the game. I didn't know until like three minutes ago, but uh, I don't know where she gets the voice from. Not from me. Not from you. Yeah. <laughs> true sure, words, Mike. That's true right, words. That's right. So Mike Bono along here with John Daly. We're here for the. Uh, if you missed the intro earlier, this is senior night for the uh, for the Scarlet Knights. They, uh, they are facing off against the Lady Raiders of Central Catholic. Uh, North Andover coming in with a record of 6-5-3. and three. The Central Catholic Raiders coming in at 9-2-1. North Andover currently ranked 29th in the MIAA state rankings. They jumped up uh, 10 spots uh, after a big win on Saturday in the Krause Cup uh, against Winchester. Winchester came into that game 11 and 0, number three in the state, and uh, in the North Andover Lady Knights, uh, just really, uh, <laughs> they pushed it. They they hustled, and uh, they really outplayed uh, and out hustled the uh, the Winchester Sachem. So, looking forward to that uh, that kind of effort tonight as they face off in this uh, Central Catholic in this critical uh, Merrimack Valley Conference uh, matchup. What are you looking for today, Sean? Effort. I think they need to come out on fire and uh, really set the tone for the game. If, they, if there's a slow start, they you know, could be in trouble. I think that's kind of caught up with them a few times this year. I think if they come out with that effort, and I think after this weekend, I, I think they know what their potential is when they play with effort. And if they come out with full effort, I think um, we're, gonna, we're in for a game. We're in for a ball game. Good. And we got... Uh the, the Lady Knights starting all their seniors. Janie Papel is coming off an ACL injury, starting her first game of the year. And uh, the uh, Central Catholic sportsmanship, they just kind of kick it out of bounds to give Janie her, uh, her start on, on senior night. And North Andover uh, throwing it in back to Central. So some good sportsmanship there um, at the start. But I will say the first game did have, uh, was a little chippy. It got a little physical. So we'll see how this plays out uh, for today. Yeah, I think you come to expect that Central North Hanover game. They both come out, both typically, um, you know, top of the league programs, and they come out and battle. They get after it, and uh, I think they know each other from soccer for years and other sports. They're always competing against each other. I think it's a good, good, healthy rivalry. North Andover in the black, going left to right on your screen. Central in the white, going right to left. Brisk night. Approaching, uh, approaching low 50s, no wind to speak of. The flag is, uh, is still, so I don't think, I don't think there'll be, uh, wind will be a factor tonight. A little bit of a change from the last time we were here when they played Haverhill. <laughs> I think we had 40 mile an hour winds. And it played a big role. In it the, did. Uh, in the game. <laughs> Minute and a half in, and uh, both teams just getting warmed up, trying to find their way here. Central with the cross. Emma DeMore comes out with the, with the scoop. Emma, a freshman, um, started the last, last couple games for, for North Andover High. Done a great job, made some great saves last weekend against Winchester and against uh, Wellesley on, uh, on Sunday. CeCe Ginsburg. Over to Bella Forrest and up to Erica Wojcik. Sends it in, but... A little too much. A little too much. Just a little, a little too keeper, much. Good uh, effort there. Lauren Sanchez all over that. Like that. They look good. I think ideally the Knights would like to control the play. That's the yeah. Uh, that's the goal. The that is the goal. Game. Possession yeah. game. Yeah. Possession Keep game. it. Usually uh, you come out on top. See so it boot up the sideline from Central Catholic. Moore comes out. No problem there. Not your typical starting lineup for the uh, for the Lady Knights. We get um, a couple of new faces in the in the lineup. Olivia Zawicki knocks it out of bounds. As you heard in the uh, pregame, uh, Olivia going to play at UNH Division One next year, which is uh, which is a big deal. Good for her. 
Wojcik with the header to the middle. CC Ginsberg. CC Ginsberg with the pressure. Megan Daly switches it to Wojcik. Crosses it back over to Ginsberg. Ginsberg. Something brewing here, possibly. Sending Mike. Sydney Rogers. We need to get up. Rogers in the corner. Back to Daly. Over to Ginsberg. Crosses it over. And we got a goal kick. You know, I like uh, CeCe Ginsburg up front. Um, her, uh, her speed is definitely plays a factor in some of these games. She's a, a track star at North Ann High School. What events? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. You put me on the spot like that on live TV. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, you're right. already starting three minutes in. <laughs> Jeez. Um, She's got to be a sprinter. Yeah. Might do the relay with Megan Rossi. Ah. <clears throat> but anyway, a, a couple of these games where they play some of these top ranked top top ranked teams, uh, CC, uh, Megan Rossi, some of these girls with exceptionally fast speed put a lot of pressure on the other team, and it's yep. really uh, made a difference. Good ball by Wojcik, Ginsburg putting the pressure on. Sanchez with the with the boot. Charlotte Martel takes it down. Good physical play there. Martel coming off of a uh, an ACL injury from club soccer last year. Wojcik tries to switch it to Rogers. It's a nice cut. Oh, there could be trouble. Could be trouble here. Central Catholic kicking it up the field. Quinn Phillips. Works it to the outside, to Daly. Oh, good try, over to, trying to connect with Sydney Rogers. They really, the, the North Andover, the defense is really exceptional. You get uh, Quinn back there, sort of anchoring it with Olivia, Maria um, back there as well, and then Daly on the left, on the left. They're, they're solid back. Oh, Zawicki takes it off the, off the face, goes out of bounds. Can't see down that far. <laughs> folks, for you folks at home, we have a tough angle here in the uh, press box. <laughs> you get the, we get the blind spots seats. like uh, Fenway. But we are warm, so we are warm. I mean, give it a little take a little. It's number 15, Emma Allworth, works it up the field. So, so far, what I'm noticing in the first couple minutes, Central not playing a possession game here. They're trying to just Basically, a kick and a, a chase, kick, a, kick and chase, yeah. or dump and chase for us hockey fans. Yep. Hey, hey, yeah. How about those Bruins two and zero? Yeah, they look good. A little better than the Patriots. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't talk about the Patriots. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know there are a lot of people at home that don't want to hear us talk about the Patriots. Cece Ginsburg looks like she's going to try to send Wojcik. Wojcik up the side. Sanchez out to, to scoop it up. Just a little too much, but a good good idea. Packed crowd here at uh, Wall Stadium. It's also uh, Night of Champions, I believe, the uh, for, for North Andover Youth Soccer, all the, well, because it's the girls team, all the girls uh, youth soccer teams that made it to the Essex County uh, playoffs at Pingree. Um, we'll be here and celebrate it at halftime, so stick around for that. Right, Sydney Rogers controlling the play. Nice physical using her body. Martell, good possession by North Andover. One and two and three touch passes. Quinn Phillips heads it up. Sawicki works it to the outside. Works it up the field. So you're gonna uh, really watch out for number seven, Lucy Irwin. She's a sophomore on Central Catholic. Uh, as a freshman, made uh, all Eastern Mass, scored a bunch of goals, and from what I understand, has scored a ton of goals this year. So she's a, a standout player, and uh, somebody you really got to keep an eye on. There she is with the ball. Trying to put the ball through. Daly is there. 
Daily containing. Looks like Kendall Rulin provided some help. Quinn Phillips knocks it out of the uh, out of the defensive zone here, and there goes Ginsburg. Central playing a little bit. Oh, yeah, with the with the long kick. Mm. Uh, you know, it was yeah. scary for a <laughs> second there. Scary. Ball's uh, ball's a little bouncy tonight, and you know, he's a freshman goaltender, not as not yep. as tall, still growing, and so maybe not a bad strategy by uh, by Central. There goes Ginsburg with some pressure. Number 26, Anya Nera knocks it out of bounds. Need a whistle. Get some substitutions. Couple subs. Got Mia Bono, Kate Scully, and Whitney Smith coming in, replacing Cece Ginsburg, Bella Forrest, and Sydney Rogers. Martell with the header. Good physical play by Martell. Sanchez comes out. She looks comfortable back there in the in the box. I think she's been the starter for probably three or four, maybe all four years, right? Sanchez? The goalie, yeah. I yep. think she's been there for a while. You can fact check me on that later. All right. Well, my kid's only been on the team for two, so yeah. I, I have no idea about the first year. Kate Scully providing some pressure. Wojcik working into the corner. Nice, nice scissors move, tries to cross it, and it looks like, oh, it's a throw in. Close to being a corner, but a throw in deep in the Central Catholic zone. Ball rolls to Sanchez, good distribution. Oh, maybe, uh, it looks like Maria Benvenuto with a good anticipation, good yep. step. Heads up play, both ways yeah. too. Even the central goalie is a good thought there. Daily Odebono. Kate Scully has a few goals in the last couple games. Been playing uh, up front a little bit, provide a little bit of a spark. Big goal against Winchester last, uh, last, yep. last week. Huge uh, this weekend, I should say. Yeah, Saturday. Good finish. It was a nifty oh. little move there. Yeah. That was uh, Lucy Irwin, and she forces the corner kick for Central Catholic. So last, uh, last time Central Catholic and North Andover played, it was one-to-one -one late in the game, and Central scored on a on a header off a corner kick, yep. uh, or from, from the side, but. Um, hoping everybody marks up, takes their man. Moore knocks it out. Ruling, nice job. belts nice it out. Nice job by the Knights right there. You know, Kendall Ruling has really um, stepped up her game the last couple weeks. She Looks like it's going to be a throw-in for Central Catholic, but uh, Rulin was out for, she had a multiple um, ACL I think she injuries. Had two, I yeah. believe she had two ACL tears. Came back, I think the first time she was trying to work her way back into it, but these last couple of weeks, she has really been a rock star. Has, has uh, been a, a force on that, uh, on that defense. Drop by Zawicki. Let's go get something going Scully here. Skelly looking for Wojcik. Boots it down. Wojcik. It's a foot race with Sarah Trigliano. Trigliano knocks it out of bounds. It's going to be a Knights throw in. You know, I think they, they want to do more of that. Just keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. So Wiki takes it down. Crosses it over. Whitney Smith takes it down. Tries to get over to Bono. And here goes Lucy Irwin. She's being chased by Maria Benvenuto. Good containment by uh, Rhea on, uh, on Irwin. Daly with the throw. 
Megan Daly coming off a uh, couple games uh, where she was out with concussion and sinus infection. And yep. It was a long week. Irwin passes it through. Good anticipation by Emma Demore. Good boot. Ball comes down. Headed by number 25. It'll turn over. Central working it to the corner. That's their, I think that's their, like I think the entire team is anticipating it always goes to the corner. That's, yeah. that's kind of what I'm, what I'm sensing right here. Uh, first, uh, first 15, 14 minutes. Goal kick. We got uh, Kate Fry coming in for Charlotte Martell. Kate Fry, a sophomore, number thirteen. Brother Will. I think she had the she had the goal against Central last game, right? She did. Have, I believe that's I, think she, I, I think believe she that's she the case. Goal, yeah. Just need a lucky bounce our way. Yeah. So Wiki trying to control it. Picks it up, headed by Central, Whitney Smith. Oh, ref was gonna call, he went to the whistle and then he brought it down, almost called a... Uh, what would that call have been, Mike? Bad pass, uh, what's that? What would the call have been? It would have been a push in the back. Ah, all right. It was football, it would have been pass interference, which I think you probably can relate to a little bit more. Gotcha. It's like a corner kick for the, uh, for the, for the Raiders. 15 minutes in, 0-0 here at Walsh Stadium. Corner kick. It's a good one. Slips through. Quinn Phillips nice knocks job. it out. That was a nice job right Kate there. Scully trying to out off of the Raiders. Wojcik with the throw. Up to Kate Fry. Takes it down nicely. Looks like we're kicking it into space as well. It looks like it went off uh, North Andover and is going to be a central throw. Oh, wow, he called that off of, uh, <laughs> off of Central. And the crowd is- I think that him. was a good call. I think the crowd's letting him know. He thought it was a good call. The guy from the cheap seats <laughs> who can't see thought it was a good call. <laughs> Sydney Rogers coming in for Olivia Zawicki. I'd like to take a quick uh, second to shout out to Jackson Ziegler. Jack Ziegler's up on the roof doing the camera work today. Jack also happens to be my nephew. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing a great job. He's doing job a great up job up there. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Thanks for all you do, Jack. Wojcik. Welcome to the team. <laughs> oh, Wojcik with a good fake. Nice move. Moves it over. Ruland with a nice touch. Tries to work it in. Benvenuto and Lucy Irwin going after it. See these foot skills. Oh, good look. Good give and go. Benvenuto chasing her down. Uh-oh, takes it to the front. And good save by DeMore, but there you go. That's what I was talking about earlier. And now yep. we can see why she was, as she, a freshman. She's a dangerous player. All Eastern Mass. <clears throat> Kind of one of those plays, you can't stop her, but you hope to contain, contain her. her a bit. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Is that Keith Jackson? <laughs> Football commentator. Good job by Scully. Good job by Rulin. Yep. 
Jimmy Rogers chasing it down. Over to Benvenuto. Wojcik has it. Off of Central. So we got some subs coming in. We got Olivia Zawicki coming in for Megan Daly. Addie Coyne coming in, uh, making her first uh, appearance of the night. Coming in for Erica Wojcik. Rogers on the throw here. Need to see some movement on this throw, and we're kind of standing around here. Addie Coyne, turnover, takes off turnover, and here we go. Yeah, Whitney be Smith. Right there. Whitney Smith. We got Kate Scully. Oh, oh. takes her down. Oh. There's no call no there. No call I there. I, not to sound like Tommy Heinsohn, but oh, you but gotta Whitney. be kidding me. Uh, I think they're they're. There could have been a call. Yeah, there should have been a call there. Yeah. Any other part of the field, there would have been a call. Ah, I don't know. We get taken down by light. You know, we'll go back to the video replay and we'll check it out. I already watched it. Definitely <laughs> foul. Ah. Well, got to keep working. Yeah, keep working. Keep the uh, high, high energy levels. Well, you know what the threshold is in the box now, right? It, it gets right. very physical, as long as they call it both ways. Whitney Smith trying to control the ball, looking for some help. Boots it up off of Central Catholic. Throw in to Bono, trying to control it. Plays it back to Phillips. Throw in North Andover. It's like, is that is a wiki? Maybe a little injury? Looks like she might have taken it in the in the side. She did. Uh, she was playing on a weak uh, a weak foot or ankle over the weekend. So he's already banged up coming into the game. Good throw. Drop by Benvenuto being a pest there, knocking it out of bounds. Good throw by Central. Over to Irwin. Pass looks like offsides. Yeah, I think it might have been a goal. I think it might have been out of bounds. Oh. Get uh, someone just me Bono just came off and I can't see the number. Uh, we got Bella Forbes uh, Force coming in. Bella Forbes. Ball works its way up the middle. Gets by Rogers. Number eleven Macy Daigle dangling. Gets a shot off. Saved by Emmett Moore. With the kick coming out. Two hands in the back there. Central. Headed up by Scully. Turnover. Kate Fry. Great foot skills by Kate Fry. She has some really smooth foot skills. Sophomore. Quinn Phillips boots it up. You know, that's the first time I've seen them work the ball back. That's kind of a new thing. I, I've, I've missed the last few games. Yeah, they don't, um, they don't really work the ball back. I, uh, yeah, I think, what's your theory on that? You make them cover more of the field, right? Well, I, my theory is uh, it's a possession game. So if you're in a situation, I mean, you always want to work the ball up the field, but yeah, yeah soccer's soccer's like a chess match, right? And sometimes, um, sometimes you got to work it back. Yeah, they. I was over in um, Europe doing a couple of <laughs> European soccer league games, so I, I missed I missed it. <laughs> Premier League. Have, yeah. you, have you heard of like heard of it? <laughs> Uh, 
free kick by number 15, Emma Alworth. Daigle using her body. Looks like Addie Coyne in there, being a pest. Good battle. So Addie Coyne, Coyne I've watched her. She's like a high-energy player. Yeah. Comes in, really mixes it up. Get some more subs. A lot of substitutions. Seems like every whistle we get a substitution. I can't keep up. There are a lot this time. I see Scully going out. Well, looks like the uh, looks like the Central fans are getting a little, a little testy early on with 16 minutes left. Mm -hmm. They should have been complaining about our, our <laughs> girl getting tackled in front of the goal. They weren't complaining about that, right. for sure. Throw in. Oh, two hands in the back. I guess that's allowed today. <laughs> I think we're in for a physical game both ways. Yeah. I think both, both teams compete. Like I said, there's certainly some bragging rights, you know, and, and I think any time, you know, in the NBC especially, you play in Central, everyone brings their A game. Yeah. Oh, right through the ball, Olivia Zawicki knocks it up the field, trying to get it to Wojcik. There goes Ginsburg with the pressure. He goes forced. Oh, right through the ball. Takes out a central player. Charlotte Martell getting in there. You know, no fear. Her, Kendall, yeah. with uh, Quinn has they, had a brace on. They, when they, 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 they play get, with a reckless abandon. They do. Yep. They do, even after those injuries. And it takes so long to recover from them, and they still go all out. Martell. Looks like you got the ball. Now we're going to call Tiki Tack after letting the other stuff go. Uh, my inner Tommy Heinz is going to start coming out. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> Number 15, Emma Allworth with the, uh, with the free kick. Looks like they're going right at the net here. He's going to try to boot it right in. DeMore uh, sneaks through, but bounces right on it. Ball, you know, with the humidity and the temperature change, so the ball's probably a yeah, little slippery. It's a, it's a tough one. There's a little spin on it, too. It's tough. I, I will say she's come a long way this season from um, start, you know, where she came starting. As a freshman, it's definitely tough to step in, especially at goal. Since you put me on the spot earlier, I have a question for you. So, yes. at what point does the temperature and the humidity, like, does does you oh, know, the knows. ball start getting wet? You, you drop below 55 degrees Fahrenheit, it, it starts to get a little tricky. Oh, it's just, it's just the temperature, not the humidity. Humidity, no doubt, plays a part. Everyone knows that. All right. We got Mike Wonkum over here. A Barry Burbank. Barry Burbank, all right. You might be too young to remember Dickie Albert. I remember Dickie Albert. <laughs> I mean, you get really old, you start talking about Don Kent. All right, Central trying to... Renaya Merkadin. Uh, in on the in on the play earlier, Renaya. I actually know Renaya because she volunteers for Special Olympics. What a great kid! Oh, nice. Well, that looked like a handball to me. Ball up to Wojcik, over to Martell. <coughs> Martell busting down the right line, racing Anya Nera. Nera kicks it out of bounds. It is a North End overthrow. In. You know, with you bringing that up, it's amazing how many different things these kids today are involved in. Yeah. And how, how they have the time for that. Plus, w with the academics, you know, which was my primary focus when I was in high school, and I know it was yours <laughs> also, but, uh, you know, they do a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of volunteer work. Just a lot, a lot of great volunteer work. And it goes Renaya chasing it in. Good job by Emmett Demore. You know, I think it's one of these things now with colleges, like it's so competitive that everybody's trying to separate themselves. And it's yeah. just, you just, if you get good grades, it's not good enough anymore to get into a great school. Like you gotta, they're looking at the whole person, not just your academics. Yep. And uh, and so I see a lot of a lot more kids volunteering for things like that, which is great. I mean, the yeah. community Yeah, no, I think it's that. all awesome. Definitely awesome. It's all about the kids. It's all about the kids. 
Got a throw here from Zwicky. Ginsburg trying to control it. Number six, Kellyanne Walsh exit in the game. Carol Maroney, the um, renowned photographer, a little oh, yeah. help with the ball girl there. She kicked it back. Yeah, she's taking her pictures That's down right. there. Central tends to take a little bit of liberty on these throw-ins. The ball goes out 15 yards behind them. Uh, Addie Coyne. Uh, oh, ball. There we go. Central Cal, you know, it amazes me. Central Cal, like, she knew it went off of her, but she's saying, like. A little bit of gamesmanship, <laughs> like, you know. Um, I wouldn't expect that from Central Catholic, though. <laughs> <laughs> Competing. I get it. I love get it. it. I'm just busting chops. But I know. So, Wiki with the throw-in. We had some girls from NASA, ball girls, uh, it, doing well, a great Na job. It's NASA soccer night, That's too. That's it. I, well, yeah, right. yeah we, we went over that about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I'm just bringing it up again, okay. making sure the <laughs> folks at home, in case they missed it. <laughs> yes, at halftime, we'll be celebrating the uh, all the NASA champions from the youth program who made it to the playoffs last June. You know, Stick Mike, I don't think we never captured a championship with our girls down there, right? No, we never we never made it to, to M Talk, which is the mass tournament of we, champions. Remember we lost in the shootout that one we year? We did lose in the shootout, yeah. That was unreal. Oh, this could be dangerous. Central Megan Daly gets back. Lucy Irwin, good job by I think that's Maria Benvenuto working on Irwin again. Irwin tries to kick it in, Benvenuto kicks it out. You know, it seems like Benvenuto's on Irwin, and I'm wondering if this is like a... Starting to mark up. If you remember back in the day when when Wayne Gretzky used to come to Boston, Kenny Linsman, the rat, you yeah, the used rat. to stick him on, yeah. stick him on Gretzky the entire time. Whenever Gretzky was out, Linsman was on. I, th I wonder if that's going on here with, uh, if, if Benvenuto's been told to, to stick with Irwin. That's what it's looking like. Throwing, Quinn Phillips knocks it out. Nine minutes, 16 seconds, 0-0 here at Joe Wall Stadium. Sean Daly alongside uh, Mike Bono. I should say Mike Bono alongside Sean Daly. <laughs> Off of Wojcik's foot. So what have you liked so far this game, Mike? Well, I think the I think the hustle's there. I think um, I think we're making some 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 good. Uh -oh. oh boy, I like that call, that non-call. Yeah, I love that. I think you know what the ref saw was uh, you know that I think in the olden days, Sean, like a handball, as long as it hit your hand, it was like a automatic. Like an automatic. Yeah, there's a These little more days, discretion. If with you've, it, yeah, a lot of discretion. It's like if your hands outside of your off your body. Yep. Then it gets called, but if your hand is down by your side or generally kind of near your body, they don't um, they don't call it. So eh, debatable whether or not her body or hand might have been a little loud. Well, know. it looked pretty close to. But her. you know what? We're even now. Yeah, <laughs> and we're even. Actually, that very good point there. That may have been the reason for it. <clears throat> they owed us one. Bono and Rogers. So you're, li you're liking the effort. I'm liking the effort. Um, I, you know, I think it's a, I think it's been an evenly Evenly matched game for the most part. I, I do think Central seems to have a little bit, uh, a few more opportunities. Yep. Um, I think our defense is doing really well. We just need to put some pressure on up front to try to get a few more offensive opportunities. Here we go. We got Olivia Zawicki looking for Ginsburg. Get up a little bit. Zawicki trying to cross it over to Wojcik. You know, it's going to be something like that. <clears throat> just a, a, a bounce. And it's some open field, maybe see what happens. Ball's up in the air. Benvenuto on Irwin. Here we go. Charlotte Martell knocks it up. Ginsburg, two hands in the back from Central. Bono knocks it up to Ginsburg. Turnover. Charlotte Martell got it. Tries to boot it down to Rogers. 
That ball uh, skipped oh, a little bit there. with the humidity. She does have it yep. in the corner. Back out to Ginsburg. Nobody there in front. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. When we get up there, we don't we we don't uh, we don't take full advantage. Um, for some reason, like not capitalizing. Oh. Kendall giving a little push back. Here we go. There goes Ginsburg. There's the speed we're talking about. Oh, good job by Sanchez coming out, but that was close. I think they just need to keep the pressure on, keep the pressure on, and um, you know, hopefully catch a break. Good job it's by Ben Venuto. It's got to be one lucky bounce. Ben Venuto works bounce. it up. Here goes Wojcik. Wojcik taking it to the corner. She got some moves down here. She can watch this yep. footwork. She's got if she goes, she's got goes by her. Oh, good job by, I uh, can't see the number, but good job by the central defense. Number eight, I think. I think it was eight. Uh... <coughs> no, not Mercedes. Right. Number eight. No, it's uh, not eight. No, eight's going off. That's Renaya. I got these expensive prescription glasses. and I, I think I need them. I'm getting a little older myself. I need binoculars. It's too far. And Venuto on Irwin. Looks like Irwin has something coming going on with her ponytail. <laughs> Still manages to come out with the ball. A little shove there didn't get called, but Ben Venuto. Ben Venuto. Nice play a great there by game. Ben good, good job. Good ball down nice to Wojcik. Ah, uh, a little too much. Slippery surface down there. That was there. That was a humidity. Wojcik. Oh, Megan Rossi in the game. Another one with fast speed, put a lot of pressure on the uh, on the central defense. Good job by Wojcik to try to force the corner kick. Corner kick, great job by Wojcik. That is, you can't teach that, Sean. No, I agree. I mean, that's just, that's either you got it or you don't. Great effort. Coach Rassening giving marching orders this out there trouble. for the could corner. It's a wiki. Oh, Zawicki with the header, but just a little bit wide. That was a great corner, great, uh, great, great try by Zawicki. I wonder why they don't try the banana kick. That would be the bicycle kick. No, the banana kick. What's yeah, the banana kick. You curve it into the net. Oh, okay. yeah, I don't know. It's, the that, it's called the banana. The banana kick. The banana kick. Okay. <laughs> or a bicycle kick. There, I would have taken that. <laughs> Good job by Wojcik. Way to keep it in by Wojcik. Really playing yeah, hard right now. Some, she's yeah. got some really good foot skills. She's relentless. Yeah. Zawicki so lets it go out of bounds. Charlotte Martell knocks it in the box. Sydney Rogers is there. Here goes Megan Daly. Daly with the shot. Just wide. It's a good anticipation, good step up by uh, by Megan. Goal kick. So Central. right now, just, we're at ninety six percent humidity. We're at forty five degrees. So, as you were saying, that's where you're gonna have some problems with the ball handling the ball. Yeah, it's getting slippery out there. Yeah. Did somebody was somebody listening and text you the. Uh... I I checked the weather. Just okay. That was a banana kick, by the way. Yep. <laughs> that. There goes Lucy Irwin. Oh boy. Kicks it over the net, off the shed. Is that three? Uh, I don't. It might have been wide right. One, my wide right, okay. But I will say that these uh, these referees, not calling the handball today. <laughs> you think it was? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I plead the fifth. Good job by Martell to take that out of the air, try to get it to the middle. Rulin gets it over to Martell. A nice hustle play right there. Good job by Martell using her body, shielding the she ball. She does an outstanding up to, job of controlling oh. up there. Oh, here we go, Martell. Rozzi got it. By Rulin, playing a little ping pong ping here. Ping pong, yep. Great mind thing, great mind thing, I like. 
All right, we're at the two minute mark. Clock stops. The field, the referee, um, referees keep the time on the field. Megan Rossi takes the throw in. Up to Charlotte Martel. Martel to the middle. Well, Up to Wojcik, that could was a good ball. Right here going. Sending Rossi, and here's Rossi from our, oh, can't get it through. Rulin has it. Rulin plays it to the outside for Bono. A little too far. <clears throat> Look, they almost said something cooking there. It's a wiki with the header. Wojcik that... What is that call? We got a stop in the time. Looks like the wiki might have got a... Uh, might have got an elbow or a hand or something to the head. No yellow card for that? Well, if it was maybe in, in, like in, incidental contact, yeah, I got you. <clears throat> Get the free kick somewhere. What's going on? It's like the central coach questioning the process here. Got a drop ball. Have you ever seen a drop ball before, Sean? I have. When I was over in Europe doing the uh, color commentary. <laughs> Benvenuto up to Wojcik. Free kick for Central. Big boot up. Ball skipping with that 94% humidity. Yep. Mary Olson with the throw in for Central. Benvenuto with a good left foot cut. It's 96%. Oh, 96%, sorry. So it's Close even, even more. Even. Either way, it's going to have an effect on the ball, especially skipping off that turf. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely got to watch that skip ball. That could play a major factor in the uh, second half. We've seen it before. So what do you think so far for the Knights? Positives and negatives. Uh, well, I think, um, I, like I said before, I, nothing's changed. I mean, we gotta, we got to capitalize when we get the ball up, yep. up, uh, up top. I think we got to... I think we're doing a, a great job at containing Lucy Irwin. I think they, yeah, uh, I think they, I think they, she just had one or two opportunities, but the fact that she hasn't scored, I think says a lot about our defense and the strategy that the coaches have uh, implemented. Rossi with the ball, Rossi to the middle. Huh? Yeah, number 18. That's Addie, Addie, Bronze, Addie Bronze Bronze and North Andover native. And that's the half, at the half, 0-0 zero, zero here at Joe Walsh Stadium. So I think now's the time we can analyze the, uh, the first half. I, I, you know, to my point earlier, I, I think uh, we, um, you know, just we, we got we to gotta try something on offense to, 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 to generate some, some more shots. Uh, without shots, Sean, you're not going to score. Can't score if you don't shoot. Can't score if you don't shoot. So hopefully we can spread the field out a little bit more. Uh, defensively, I think we're solid. I think they're, I think they've been doing a great job. I mean, Emma's. I, I'd like to see the stats. I don't know if we have a status. Statistician. <laughs> Stati no, statistician. Statistician. Yes, you got it. Statistician. Uh, <laughs> statistician with the shots on goal, but I think it heavily outweighs, uh, uh, goes in uh, Central's favor. All right, welcome back to the second half here at uh, Joe Wall Stadium. Central Catholic starts it off. And away we go. Away we go. Megan Dealey with good pressure. Number 19, Addison Bron Brosnahan, ball. Good job by Kendall Rulin. Working on uh, Sarah Tressler, number 21. Charlotte Martel steals it. Ginsburg. Charlotte Martel. They might have something going here. It up to Wojcik. Good job.
job by Sanchez. Excellent goalie. We'll boot out. Wojcik first to the ball. Brosnahan moves up the side, tries to get to the Irwin. Quinn Phillips knocks it out. Megan Daly knocks it out. I can't see down there. <laughs> Good job by Martel, clearing it out. Up to Wojcik. We throw in for Central. Be a Knights throw. I oh, know, Central throw in. Quinn Phillips heads it out. Wojcik runs through the ball. Ginsburg takes it down. Hey, we have a handball, Sean. First one of the game. First one of the game. Beginning to wonder if they took handballs out of the game. Number 15, Emma Alworth set to kick it in. The defense holding at the, looks like the 10. Hour to the left side. Demore comes out. Ball's bouncing around. Still bouncing around. Demore back in the net. Daly kicks it out. That was a close one there, Sean. <coughs> we got somebody down on the ground. This is where our binoculars would come in handy. Is that Quinn Phillips? No. Uh, Coach Debbie Daly making her way out onto the field. The player's trying to tell him to hold off. Is that Maria? <coughs> Looks like Maria Benvenuto. <coughs> you know, not surprised. I, I, she plays so hard, right? She gets in those situations. She goes through the ball and... Uh, surprised that she might get a stinger like that. I'm sure she'll be okay. She's a tough kid. Plays tough. Whose ball is it? Uh, it's a great question. Great question. It's going to be one of these drop balls. They're going to pass it back to North Andover, I think. It's one of these unwritten rules of soccer. Instead of just giving it to North Andover, they do a drop ball and they say back off to the other team. It's one of the many rules about soccer that I just kind of don't understand, but Really? Uh, a Central Catholic coach questioning why it's black ball, but it is what it is. As uh, Lucy Irwin oh, can't control that. Zawicki, it's a good battle. Yep. Zawicki wins it. One by Zawicki. Yeah. So you don't have uh, you don't have Irwin. Uh, you don't have Benvenuto out. And it looks like they might have Zwicky on uh, number seven, Lucy Irwin, which makes sense. Very athletic, Zwicky. Demore with the boot out. All right, we boot it up. Here goes Ginsburg. Here we go. There's the speed, folks. Here it is. Cuts in. Ginsburg with the boot. Hey, you never know. And they, uh, you know what? I think they recognize they're trying to generate some offense, so yeah. they're just... Uh, Throw it at the net. 96% humidity. Hey, you're skipping, yeah, you a, skipping Sk a... Skip up the turf. Skip up the turf. We've seen it before. Boot up by Sanchez. Bella Forst in there. Cross. There you go. That's the banana curl there, Sean. That was the banana curl up the field. Alyssa Furtado with the throw in. It's a wiki up to Wojcik. Wojcik, nice header oh, to nice Ginsburg. Ginsburg trying to get it over to Wojcik. 
working the ball up the field nicely. There goes she our sprinter. She might get there. There she goes. Ginsburg right through the ball. This could be it a... It should have been a penalty. If you called that a penalty, somebody down here would have got thrown out of the... Uh, no. It should have been a call. Daly on Irwin. Good job by Daly to contain her. Forced, trying to work on, good job by Daly stepping up. Rulin and Martell, good job. Good job by Charlotte playing possession game there. Ginsburg trying to control it in the middle. Gets by Whitney Smith. So Wiki. So Wiki's got it. Up to Smith. Goes out of bounds. Gonna be a central throwing. Five minutes in here in the second half, 0-0. Zero, zero. Looks like Megan Daly might have just tweaked a ankle. Added to the list of injuries. She's a tough kid. Shake it off. She shook it off. She, got, she does have a little gimp in that step there, though. You know, I almost feel like you got to kind of run on it for a minute or two, and then it goes away. Yeah. Usually. And then with the temperature the way it is, it's almost like an automatic ice it's pack like ice. anyway. Right, you're right. Kicked up the field. Looks like Quinn Phillips heads it out. She's dangerous. It was Irwin over to 21. Sarah Tressler. They get Furtado in the middle of the in the middle of goal, and it's a goal kick. Hey, you know at halftime we saw a few celebrities, North Andover celebrities out here. We had uh, Nick Savarese, president Nick of the Savarese, uh, uh, North the, Andover Soccer Association. He, he's also on the uh, isn't it the uh, Flutie Foundation? Uh, he is the head of the Flutie Foundation. Yep. You might see him occasionally and on formerly the formerly with the special, special Olympics. Special Olympics. That's right. Yep. Does a great job for the kids. Especially kids with, uh, with special needs. Uh, Mike Garvin uh, graduated at North Andover High School in the crowd. Yep. Otherwise known as Uncle Mike. Uncle that's, Mike. That's what he's called. That's yes. it. Oh, good step by Sawicki. Number 11, Macy Daigle, trying to get that ball, and Sawicki chases it down. Sawicki boots it up. It's Furtado and Rogers. Furtado tries to get it in. Furtado boots it off the back of Quinn Phillips. Right there, yeah. Furtado has some good foot skills. There goes Lucy Irwin. Good crossover. Looked like to number 11. I think that was Daigle. I think we escaped, the, escaped one there. Yeah, we caught a break. No doubt. Good boot by Demore. All right, boot up the field, sticking Ginsburg on him. There goes Ginsburg, and forces the throw in, and that's what we're talking about. Okay. We can put that pressure on, keep that ball up the field. We got uh, we got in uh, Bono. Looks like is that Ria? Maria's coming. Ria Benvenuto's coming back in. And Kate Fry looks like is coming back, uh, coming in as well. So good to see uh, Maria out there. Rubbed a little turf on it or whatever they do in soccer. The special spray, you get the special spray in soccer. I'm sure when you were over in Europe and uh, you saw the special, they, it's yeah. amazing. They just spray it on their leg and it's like you have a broken leg and it fixes it. Yep, it works. Is that Scully? Scully keeps it in. There you go. Maria Benvenuto tries to cross it over. Looks like we have an whistle. offsides. Really? <laughs> yeah, so I think, you know, sometimes people get confused with the offside rule, Sean, in soccer. It's, it, so yeah, it's, 
you can't, you can't be behind the defense when the when your when your team kicks it up the field. But also, you if you are beyond the defense, you can't be the first one to touch it. And that might have been what happened. Ah, there. I get you. Thanks for the uh, clarification. Yeah, and no worries. At home, I'm sure they were wondering as yeah. well. Here we go. There goes Kate Scully. So Wiki, we got the. So here's we here's what I was talking about when you asked me about you know my analysis. We got to take advantage of something. Get a shot off or get something. Put some pressure on. Bono over to Wojcik. Nice Wojcik with a boot. A... You never know. And there's Scully. Plays it back to Wojcik. Trying to play a possession game. Here we Back to Scully. All right. But that's the pressure that we're talking about, right? At least we got a shot off. So we're seeing a little bit more of that in the second half already. Hopefully we see that continue. Phillips with the header. Daly doing a great job on Irwin. Works it up to Sawicki. Scully. Scully. The blonde hair. Nope. Too many, too many. Yeah, too she's many all, she's fast too. They can both yeah. they both run very well. It's getting late too. It's uh, yeah, it's the eyes. It's almost eight. It's almost eight o'clock. Right, bedtime. <laughs> Not usually in bed almost. Kidding me? Daly on Irwin. And Venuto on Furtado. Furtado trying to make a move. Furtado down the line. Ben Venuto kicks it out. Safe play. Crossover. Zawicki on Daigle. Good job by, is that uh, Kendall Rulin? Good support. Oh, nice oh, good move. Good job. Is that Whitney Smith? Tries to get up to Wojcik. Bono with the interception. Up to uh, Bono, up to Wojcik, a nice there. through ball. We gotta get up for it now, we gotta need some support. Get some pressure on. Oh, tries to go five hole. All right, we've got a scissors move. We've got a crossover. Yeah, and that's the, that's the uh, same type of offside call. You can't be the first one to touch it. But I don't think she did touch it. I, I couldn't tell from this angle. Daigle, header up to Irwin. Daly with some good speed, knocks it out of bounds. You know, so as we look forward, Sean, we have, uh, I think, maybe three or four, four more games for the, for the Knights. I think four. Coming up, Drake it, a couple of tough games against uh, we got Chelmsford, we've got Danvers. They need a 500 or better record to get an automatic bid into the state tournament. Um, otherwise, they need you know strength of schedule if they're ranked below 32. Yep. And uh, so this game, you know, uh, obviously important for both teams, but I would say is much more critical for uh, for North Andover. And it's a, it's I, a goal I, kick. I would agree with that. I, I think um, I think we just need that. What, the, what we're building off of last weekend and just keep keep going with that. Like we had a good weekend, a lot of success. I think I think the girls really figured out they, they're better than their record indicates and they need to stick with it. Process over outcome. <coughs> He's got the book out again, friends. <laughs> He's got the quote book out. I'm surprised it took this long. And we have a corner kick for Central. This is Furtado who's going to take the kick. Really important to mark your mark your person here. Uh, yeah, we've got a header by Daigle. Header by Daigle. It's kind of a repeat of last game. Yeah. 
you know, I, I feel you can't stand and watch. Yeah, you, you gotta go up and attack the ball. Well, That was a great corner. It was a good corner kick. It was a good corner kick. All right. Gotta, gotta get it back. Gotta get it back. 25 minutes left to, to get it back. All right, Kate Fry over to Ruin. Over to Smith, but uh, a little too wide. Let's see, we need something to break our way here. Ben Benuto. Up to Fry. Up to Bono. Tries to switch it back to Smith. Black. I mean, I do like that we strung like three or four passes together there, trying to work it up the field rather than yeah. boot it up. Um, it seems to be a more effective way to get the ball up the field. Ball out on central. It'll be a throw in for Knights. Nice. Daly with the throw. Ball makes its way to Irwin, who makes it to the out, gives it to the outside. It looks like uh, Maisie Dag Daigle has switched sides. She's now playing the right side. She's pretty tall, I would say. Yeah. Maybe 5'10", 5'11". Kind of built more like a volleyball player. Just tall and kind of lanky. Did she get the goal? She got the goal, yes. All right, Central, trying to Irwin with the ball. I don't think she's ever come out of the game. No, I, I don't think I'd take her out of the yeah. game if I was the coach. <laughs> Phillips boots the ball up the field. It'll be a Central throw in. Here goes Irwin, making her way through. She can't let her shoot. Good job blocking by Phillips. Foul on 27, Bono. It's from the 20 yard line. Looks like we got a set play here for, uh, for, for Central. We got three, three players on the ball. We'll say uh, North Andover um, had a wall the other day this weekend and did a good job at blocking it. All right. Oh, tried a little razzle dazzle fancy stuff somewhat. Didn't work out for Central. Going to be a goal kick. What was the North point of that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Either. Maybe to, I don't know, free up uh, the girl who ran over the ball, possibly. So yeah. You have multiple looks. Yep. I'll go with that. Wojcik with the throw. Up to Scully. Wojcik down to Kate Fry, but goes out of bounds. Oh, I think it's... Uh, is that that yellow ball that's flat? So Wiki boots it up. Oh, we got uh, Lily Lila Creedy in the game, freshman. Job by Wojcik running through the ball. Lila Creedy playing up front. Scored a game-winning goal against Bill Ricca yep. uh, last week. Critical in the last five minutes. Scully. Phillips to Wojcik. There's a call. The ref on the far side. <laughs> the ref on the far side called a foul. This guy on this side. <laughs> Didn't call anything. I think he's 
You know, you hate to me. I can't. Yeah, the yeah, referee, if we didn't have the referees, we wouldn't be able to play. Oh, uh, he's they're making an effort. <laughs> I just I didn't see it. Did you think that was a penalty? <laughs> I mean, based off of the, some of the stuff that they let they let go. No. So it just depends on how they call the game, right? Yeah. So some some days it's a foul, some days it's not. It's just not consistent with what's been called previously in this game or not been called. So we got uh, Rogers, Martell, and Ginsburg coming in. I think we've been playing on our heels since that goal a little bit, Sean. I think uh, hopefully this, can you know, we get a, a little spark here? We need it. Right, okay. So Wiki. So who else do we play? Drake at Chelmsford? Danvers. Top ranked uh, Division Two team, but I mean Division One, Division. Once you get to those top tier teams, it doesn't yeah. matter what division you're in. They're really good. They get Georgia Proudies, BU commit. Um, Rogers tries to switch it a little too far, but uh, yeah. And Chelms, did I say Chelmsford? Yep. Well, there's a fourth though, right? Danvers, Chelmsford, Drake. And Remember? Um, not off the top of my head. Okay. We'll ask. Uh, we'll ask the the folks in the truck. Yeah, they'll get back to us. <laughs> Logic. Could be true. Ginsburg, Rojic. So yeah, I think we're starting to try to force some offense yeah. and uh, we're not being very patient. Um, uh, yeah, it's only three more games, Sean. It's Drake at Danvers and Chelmsford. So, going to the schedule. How's Drake at this year? Uh, not terrible, but not at the top of the... Okay. Uh, the upper echelon of the Merrimack Valley Conference. Over there. Daigle takes it down with her chest. Coin out there. Ginsburg over to Coin. Sanchez smartly comes out, confidently comes out. This is, we're getting to the point where the goalies start fixing their straps, back oh, yeah. and tightening up the cleats. Little gamesmanship. Little, <laughs> it's a little game sometimes. Go, Irwin to Daigle. Irwin can't let her shoot. Good job by Benvenuto. There she goes. Oh, good save, good save by Demore. Left skate save. Oh, oh. Saved one there. So Wiki stepping up. And he gets Daigle. That's a good matchup, Daigle and uh, and Zawicki. So yeah. Like two Division One quality uh, quality players. Fun to watch them play against each other. Big, strong, tall, strong. Ginsburg stepping up. All right, we're playing on our heels a little bit here again. Daigle with a one-timer into the McDonald's parking lot. Into the net. <laughs> into the fryer later. kick. Quinn Phillips taking the kick. Charlotte Martell nicely takes the ball down. Out to Rogers. 
off of Central. So Wiki with the, uh, with the throw. Ruling. Tell you, this Central Catholic fan. <laughs> Makes it seem like Central hasn't got one call. Ball around Central. Rogers takes it down over to Creedy. Creedy with the ball. A little scissors move, tries to make the turn. Up to Irwin. Uh, Central keeps the ball. Irwin keeping it at her feet, trying to dribble. Oh, Quinn Phillips with a great, great defensive play. Trip on Martel, free kick from the 15 for Central Catholic. I think that's Irwin taking the kick. Off the crossbar, headed by Daigle. Goal kick, wow. Nicely placed by Irwin. I'd say she's going to be a Division One player someday. Ah, uh, yeah. Won't be surprised if uh, she's ready to set to commit somewhere. Phillips with the goal kick out to Wojcik. She's fun to watch. She does a. I mean, when that ball's at her feet, it's, yeah. it's pretty exciting, actually. Daly turns the ball up the field to Wojcik. Wojcik, battling. Good job by Rogers, taking her space. Over to Coin. Good pressure by North Andover, so we get the ball up their field. The throw in. Can't take advantage of the. Uh, of the uh, offensive end. Daly moves it forward. Here goes Irwin. Here we go against Quinn Phillips, one of the best. Oh. Moves around Phillips. Phillips with a. Phillips with a. Uh, Penalty, looks like. Looks like uh, they're gonna have a penalty shot here. Couldn't tell from our angle if uh, if she got ball or did not get ball. Looks like she got all ball. Tall task here for Emma Demore. trying to place the uh, players behind the line. And it's a goal, 2-0, Central Catholic. You know, with 12 minutes left, I'll say this, Sean, I, I, uh, you know, I know we're losing two to nothing, but goal differential actually comes into play when it comes to these rankings. So, yeah. with oh. Andover, Needs to, uh, needs to put their foot on the pedal here. Playing on our heels. Definitely not playing like they did last weekend Listen, against those top top they, five teams, top they had five opportunities. teams in the state. You have opportunities, you gotta capitalize. Timeout North Andover with uh, 12 minutes and 37 seconds left. Yeah, don't have they? Uh, they just don't have that um, that sense of uh, uh, urgency is not the right word, but just that uh, you know 
they're, they're not beating the other. They're not beating Central to every ball, and that's what they were doing last weekend. They yeah. were beating Winchester to every ball. They hustled. Winchester said that was the fastest team they've ever played against, according to some people that know girls on the team. Yeah. And uh, you know, Central, that, that's not happening today, unfortunately. Central's beating us to a lot of balls. Let's say yeah. it's not to say we're not trying, but it's. Uh, no, no, it's, I think the it's the efforts there. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, but it's not a, at the level that not right. at the level. It's that, a it's a grind, and you got to be ready yeah. to grind. For 80 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when they they were playing that Winchester team, undefeated, number three in the state, and, you know, even during warm-ups, the girls, you know, they were introducing the teams, they were introducing the records. They had their hand, they were kind of laughing like we were going to get killed, and they came out and they brought it, and they were able to, they played with them, they stuck with them, they, they scored a nice, beautiful goal. Yeah. Um, and... You just got to play with that level of intensity all the time. If they play with that level of intensity all the time, they, uh, you know, I think they, they, they you know, maybe put one or two more in here. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully the timeout speech worked. All right. Looks like we're going to put some... Uh, Speed and muscle up there with Megan Rossi up front or on the on the wing. Hit Wojcik out to Rossi. Just a little bit behind her. You know, we could also be a jinx because the last time. Oh, we, you're right. I, we I didn't want to say, game, Mike, but last uh, time we televised the game, this kind of happened. Looks like it's going to be a corner kick for Central Catholic. All right, we're going to mark our people here. Oh, look who they're bringing in for the corner kick. Macy Daigle. I'm going to put uh, Zawicki on her. All right, referees are going to have a conversation. Definitely not in any rush to have that conversation. <laughs> We're going to have a... I don't think you're allowed to sub. Uh, on a corner kick. Quick look at the rule book. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say it, but I wasn't 100% positive. Because, yeah. again, especially the Premier League, different rules. <laughs> <laughs> the ball's up. Zawicki with the header. Goes to Addy Coyne. He's got uh, another corner kick. From the other side. Looks like they're trying to sub again. <laughs> Wait, did we just have this conversation? I'm not sure what the difference is. Let's see, anytime there's a second corner kick. <laughs> okay. Is that, is yeah. that how it works in the Premier the League? Rules wave. <laughs> Kick is up. Daigle goes for it. A little bit overhead. Looks like Lucy Irwin got a, got a piece of it and went right into Demore's hands, which is... Uh, Caught a break, Which sir. is good, yeah. Furtado takes the ball down for Central. Benvenuto. Love how she plays. Playing hard. Sarah Triglio with throw-in for Central. Sawicki. Daigle crosses it over. Phillips plays it to the outside to Coyne. Coyne and Irwin. Coyne does a good job winning that. Oh, we got some uh, subs coming in. It's like we got uh, Kate Scully, 
C.C. Ginsburg, senior. Benvenuto with the throw to Ginsburg. Wojcik. Here goes Scully up to Megan Rossi. Rossi to Ginsburg. Ginsburg teeing it up. Ruling tough play. Ginsburg plays it to Rogers. Rogers a little too tough. A little too tough. A little too strong up the uh, up the side. Kendall Ruin playing tough out there. Furtado moves the ball up the field to Irwin. Irwin and Benvenuto has been a good battle all game. Yeah, Benvenuto competes, doesn't yeah. she? Oh, yeah. She's yeah, yeah. Absolute grinder. Isabella Vina throws it in. goes out of bounds on the kick. Here it goes Erwin. Good job by nice Benvenuto. Again. Up to Rogers. To Ginsburg. Nice save right there. Ginsburg looking to send it down. Sends the banana, the banana ball. Yeah. That was the. Had to the, do it the, the other way. Yeah. Some nice uh, posters down. Senior posters down there. Yeah, made by the, uh, a good job. A lot of effort put into it. Glassman. It does seem to be a tight, tight knit group on the uh, on the team. Pina with the throw out on Benvenuto. Twenty one, Sarah Tressler in on the play. Daly, good job. Good left foot by Daly. Ginsburg trying to take it down. Goes through the ball. Ginsburg up to Wojcik. Woj Erica Wojcik's on the track team as well. Yeah, she runs well. I think. Furtado switches the field. Daigle trying to dangle. Daly with a nice step. Good touch. Good possession. And oh, there goes there. Could be trouble. Can she get there? A good idea. Boot by Sanchez. Looks like good job by Rogers to take it down. Ginsburg. Out on central. Another group of subs. Charlotte Martel coming out of the game. Lee Bono coming in. Daly with the throw. Oh, I think, no, oh, no, not offside. Erwin trying to make a move on Daly, on Benvenuto. Benvenuto with a good, physical, strong play. Number 19, Addison Brosnahan, what a nice move. Up to Irwin. Rhea Benvenuto, 
frustrating the heck out of uh, Lucy Irwin. It's a good battle. They're two, yeah, two great players. Competing hard all I night. Mean, obviously, Lucy Irwin has the soccer skills. Benvenuto just really containing her well. Um, He's just an athlete. Yeah. Uh, hoop player. I believe she does track also in the spring. Yeah, but she's just she goes not, out a, and competes. Yeah, not afraid to get in there, not afraid to, to use her body, play strong. This matchup in front of the net. We're at three minutes, 19 seconds left. 2 0 Central Catholic here in the second half on senior night here at Joe Walsh Stadium at, at the end of our high school. Irwin, uh, referee, <laughs> he looked across to the other referee to find out where it was, who was it off of, and yep. the other referee didn't respond, so he just guessed and said it was central ball. Been a guessing game all night, Mike. Yeah. Bono knocks it out. Uh, hanging out in front. A little sense of urgency from North Andover now. Daly knocks it out of bounds. No sense of urgency on the Central Catholics part, by the way. <laughs> Which makes sense. That's kind of how the yep. game's played. So you do it. Little games. Gono trying to contain Furtado. Nice job, Mia B. Mia Gono up to Ginsburg. CC over to Wojcik. Over to Rogers. Rogers switches it. Good job by Benvenuto. Knocked over by Irwin. Good physical play. Sarah Triglio with a uh, with a throw in for Central. We are at the two minute. We're under two minutes. Time will be kept on the field. Looks like it's going to be a. Oh, the ball is still in. Looks like it's going to be a throw in for North Andover. So Wiki heads the ball up. I think that's Kate Scully over there. Yes, it is. A couple of light bulbs here uh, out at the uh, Joe Wall Stadium. So the lighting is a little off tonight. It's I mean, making it that, tough. Maybe, no that, maybe it's not the glasses. Maybe uh, maybe it's the lighting. I'm going to talk to. Uh, I concur. I think we're going to talk to. Uh, Mr. Nugent, is he the right person? Talk to Mr. Nugent. The athletic doing, director. Yeah. Doing a great job. Great job taking over the last couple years. Athletic director at North Andover High. You know, we're still in negotiations to come in full time and start announcing on the game. Yeah, I know. I mean, we're going to talk about that for we next year. We give him a year. homer discount. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, we can't work for free. Yeah, no, this is, I mean... We're definitely too valuable to yeah. be uh, to working for free. I mean, this this telecast actually is live across the like billions of people could be listening to this on the oh, North Andover Cam website. Certainly millions. I'm surprised that the North Andover Cam website hasn't gone down. Right. Let, let people listen to us announce it. Fair point. Ginsburg tries to switch it. It does make it tough with the windows. You're getting a little bit of a reflection because of the light. 
Well, next time, you know, we'll go out on the roof. Here goes Irwin. Yeah, I think we're going to have well, Here's another battle. Irwin and Benvenuto. Irwin with a nice pass, a little, little too much. Try to get it over to, I think it was uh, Vina. Ball game. And that's the end of the game, folks. 2-0 uh, Central Catholic. Hard fought game, North Andover Lady Knights. They, you know, they tried hard. They, they played tough. Just wasn't their night, uh, senior night. But we do wanna, do wanna, you know, congratulate all the seniors. You know, for some of them, these next couple games, and if they get into the playoffs, this is gonna be their last time playing competitive soccer at this level. And so, always sad for the parents and, and, and sometimes for the kids. But, uh, but also it's a celebration for for all that they've done and all that they've. Right. Contributed and given to the given to the program, not only the high school program but the youth program. Um, Agreed. And all great kids, and and you know, great to uh, you know. Hey, the season's not over. They still have three more games. They still have an opportunity to, to you know make it to the state tournament. And uh, if they play like they have played last weekend, hey, you never know. So, any last minute thoughts? Yeah, I, you know, I, you got to tip your hat to Central. They came out and made plays. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're clearly they have some real skill over there. With a few of those players. And, and um, I'm losing. Daigle, Irwin. Er Irwin. I, watching Irwin plays, anytime yeah. the ball's at her feet, like yeah. something good happens. It's pretty impressive to watch. I actually think we did a pretty good job of defending her overall. Yeah. But, um, you know, it is what it is. They didn't get up. You know, we needed a break or two our way. We didn't get it. Um, I thought the effort was there tonight. Yeah. So, you know, you can't ask for much more than that. But, um, yeah, I, again, I tip my hat to all the seniors, too. Like, senior night, last home game, I believe. Uh, Is this? They have one more. They play chumps for the last oh. game of the year. Yeah. Well, they, I thought they usually do senior night in the last game. But yeah. Either way, yeah. Well, you never know if it's a rain out. Then you got to. Gotcha. Yeah. So. You know, you put a lot, you know, a lot of dedication, commitment, you know, to play in a sport, you go four years of high school doing it, and I tip my hat to them, and hopefully, uh, you know, enjoy it. Yeah. Well, folks, that's it from uh, from North Andover High School. Uh, again, final score, Central Catholic 2, North Andover Lady Knights 0. And uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you, folks.